last weekend at Meridian Speedway. Obviously, it didn't go as you planned. You had a great car, fast race. Um, so when you, when you look at you know how tough an ending that was for you, you know, with that caution flu, you know, how, how did it go for you from inside the car? Ah, uh, yeah, it was really good. It was looking to be really good with five to go. There's no yellow yet, and two to go. Going on the back stretch, I saw the saw the sparks fly out of the 36, and that's Tony went up and hit the wall. So I knew. I knew that we were gonna have a restart, and that restart was gonna be big for me, just to make sure you controlled the restart. And then that didn't really happen with 99 on the inside of me, and he jumped to start a little bit, and then he got black flagged at the end, of course. But it was all BMR was one, two, and four. We were really good, shaping up to come to the end, and then that yellow flew. Yeah, so it was a big race for your career. It was the first time you led more than two laps, and I believe you led 58. So, you know, for the first time, you got to get out there and really show what you're able to do behind the wheel of a car. So, obviously, as we said, it ended disappointingly, but for your season, for your career, you know, you know how big was that for you, you know, momentum-wise and, and confidence-wise for you? Yeah, that was huge for confidence and momentum going into Roseville, for sure, with just having more confidence to just show that I can do it and know that I can do it in my head. And that was really big for me, I think, and hopefully we can have a really good run at Roseville. Yeah. What do you feel like you need to improve? I mean, you've had a solid season, 12 races, seven top fives, but, you know, you're not really up there with your teammates. You haven't been on a win, unfortunately. So where do you feel like you need to improve? You know, is it a driver thing? You know, what do you think you need to improve? I think so far this year, there, there's cars have been really well, and I think ours fell off just a little bit in the longer run, like at uh, Roseburg in Oregon. We uh, got really tight at the end, and that's what hurt us a lot when Todd and Chris were battling up front and it looked really looked really fun and then this week in this last race at Meridian it showed that our car was really good on the long run it kind of fell off and got really loose where ours had really good drive off yet. yeah you guys are one two three in points uh, Chris and Todd are right up there for the championship you're a little bit further behind but they have a lot of experience so far so what do you feel like you've been learning from them this season ah uh, yeah they've been helping me on and off the track with everything that I wanted really they'll tell me an honest truth they Going to all these new tracks that I've never been to before, it's it's kind of tough. But then with them guys there, it helps me a lot, and I learn a lot in all these new tracks, and especially driving a different car. Yeah, absolutely. You're learning a lot this year, but one thing that's tough with the West Series is the traveling. You know, you spend a lot of time on flights, you know, traveling from coast to coast. So right now you're in Charlotte. So when it comes to the travel, at such a young age, you know, how, how important do you think it is to learn how to travel and how to handle that that side of the sport? Yeah, it's really it's really different traveling out to California or Oregon or whatever it is every weekend and just really different but we still get to race a lot back at home and it's really fun to go back home and race and it's always really fun to travel around and see all these new tracks and get to meet a lot of new people. Yeah and jump into today you're in a modified for the first time uh, so how would something like this come together? Uh, yeah it was really good it's really fun to be back in the, or be in modified for the first time it's mm -hmm. it's definitely way different it's a lot I feel there's a lot more tire on it and it's just it's really fun to drive and kind of came together at Iowa we met with uh, Ben Kenny who's driving the Bono's car and kind of started talking there and then Paul Menard contacted us with Menards and Charlie and that's that's when it came together and that's when we found out we were going to race it here. Yeah, so Paul Menard, he's a cup guy, so having someone like him, you know, showing support with Menards and you as a driver, you know, that's pretty cool to have someone like him, you know, what, what does that mean for you to have someone like Paul Menard helping? Yeah, it's actually really cool, there was actually a story behind it with my dad and him used to race, my dad and Paul used to race, always out all over the country really, and one, one weekend when I was getting born, uh, I was out in Colorado actually, and they were racing out there, and my dad found out that I was going to get born, and Paul Menard actually let my dad use the private, his private jet, and they flew him flew him back to Wisconsin and got to see me get born and then came back here and came back to Colorado and raced. Oh, that's incredible. Are you a Paul Menard fan, I guess? <laughs> yeah, it's been... It's really good to have him on my side, and hopefully we can work in the future. Yeah, a couple more questions. Um, you, you spent this whole year in a stock car, so jump into here. Do you feel like the stock car experience helps with the modified, or is it is it really too different to, to draw any conclusions? Uh, it's definitely different with how, how much more tire you have and how much more lighter it is. If these things turn a lot better than what like a like what a K N car would do because it's way more K N car is way more heavy. So. Yeah. You got a lot more turn in these cars, and they're a lot fun to drive. Yeah, do you have a future in modifieds? 
I don't know. I guess we'll see after tonight. Yeah. And what are your 2018 plans? Are you, are you coming back uh, in the Canaan series next year? Do you know yet? Or is that still still a uh, It's, it's kind of up in the air yet. Hopefully we'll be back with BMR. they got a great team out there out west. And hopefully we'll be back there. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate your time. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.